it's almost two o'clock here and i felt like doing uh, my in-depth review of the 48 g2 that i purchased a couple of days ago i did not need a full week to uh talk about this calculator because software wise it is essentially identical to the hp 49 g plus or even the 50 g this came out around the same time as this one right here so these are essentially the same year model okay 2003 for both it is worth mentioning that uh, the 48 g2 had two different versions so this is the early version that i have here 2003 and uh the more recent version is from 2007. The difference between the two is that uh, that one has a slightly updated firmware or operating system, but that's not really, uh, it may have uh, uh, slightly more functions, but for the most part, you really can't tell the difference. I mean, for most for most regular users, for most regular uh, people, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna matter at all. The software is not going to matter at all, okay? And uh, another difference is uh, that uh, that one takes four AAA batteries as opposed to three batteries here. So this one takes three triple, AAA batteries. Okay, so that's uh, two differences. And uh, the last difference is the amount of RAM. So this one has 128 gigabytes. <laughs> oh Lord, gigabytes. Really? <laughs> 128 kilobytes of ram and the 2007 model has double the ram 256 gigabyte of ram okay so those are the differences between the 2003 model and 2007 model so obviously you know if you have the options you would you i mean you better off just uh you know just going with uh, the 2007 model but those are really hard to find that model is really really hard to find I tried to look for it, you know, I waited, 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 but I couldn't find one at a at, at a reasonable price. So I just decided to uh, pick this up. I only spent $20 on this one and the shipping was free. This is <laughs> by far the best deal I've ever had on an HP calculator because HP calculators are typically way more expensive uh, compared to Texas Instrument calculators. And part of the reason is because Texas Instruments are everywhere. They make a lot of calculators which is something that HP does not do. Even if you go on eBay right now, you cannot find uh, an HP Prime that that came out uh, just uh, recently, 2018. Well, that is recent in the calculator world, but you cannot even find a second generation TI. Well, you probably could find it, but you're not gonna find more than maybe five, you know, on the entire uh, eBay uh, platform. So that is, that is, uh, that, that that's to tell you that uh, HP is not really uh, it's not really uh, very present in the calculator world like Texas Instrument is. Okay, so the reason why I have the 49G Plus here is because, as you can see, visually these things are pretty much they look pretty much identical, just minor differences. Okay, so the very obvious one, you know, one might notice right away is going to be the display size. Obviously, this is a flagship HP calculator, so it's gonna have it's going to have uh, you know better features so this one has a uh, a bigger display okay it has bigger display it has the ability to take uh, a sd card of up to two gigabytes okay so two gigabyte that's actually more memory that's four times the memory on the latest hp prime but you know that's not the point that doesn't mean this is better than the prime it could be you know certain stuff it does certain stuff way better than hp prime so, okay anyways so he has the ability to take the sd card slot he has a bigger display and he also has a flash memory okay what that what does that mean so essentially that means that uh you could flash it you could flash this you could uh upgrade the firmware i believe you can also downgrade the firmware but don't take my word for it i did not test that I uh, even never, I never even had to upgrade my firmware because when I purchased this, the, it was already running the latest firmware. Okay, so you have the ability to flam, to flash uh, operating system on here. That is something you cannot do here. So this thing does not have a flash memory. Okay, which makes sense because they had to save some stuff for the uh, for their premium calculators. Okay, so this is like a. 
this is like the middle child between the 50G and the 49G plus, if you will. This is not really comparable to the uh, to the 49G that came out in 1999 because it is much better than that calculator. Okay, that calculator actually had flash memory, so you can actually flash you can actually flash firmware on that one, you know, from 1999. But even though this one came out four years after, it didn't have the option because it was not a premium calculator, you know, it's like a middle child, like a, like a, uh, I wouldn't say a entry level, it's like a, it's, it wasn't entry level, it's like, a, it was between like a flagship and entry level, so th that's where this one sits. So, I can even stop talking about this video already, because that's the only difference uh, the 48G2 has uh, uh, with, the, uh, uh, with the 49G Plus or even the 50G. But, you already know me, I'm going to have to talk more about uh, this stuff. So, in my overview video, I say that uh, I like the keys, the keyboard a lot better here. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to take that back. You know, after using it for a couple of days, for two, three days now, I, I think I, 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 uh, I like this key, I like the key, keys on this better, you know. The only thing I dislike about this key is it's too loud, you know. You know, you may you may not pick uh, pick the sound uh, through this camera, but it's uh, you know if you use it constantly, I feel like the keys is slightly more louder than uh, the keys on here. But that could be because this thing uh, seems to have hardly been used. Is it looks almost brand new, so. As you can see, it has all the rubber feet. That's always a good sign. Plus, it doesn't even have that many scratches. I mean, a brand new calculator, you take it out of the box, it's, it's probably going to have scratches already. You know, that, I don't know, that's just something funny about calculators. Okay? So, yeah, it looks almost brand new, so that could be the reason. If maybe if I use it for a couple more months, uh, the keys are going to feel like uh, the keys here. But I, again, I wouldn't be surprised if the keys on here are slightly better quality because again, this is a flagship calculator, so it would make sense. That would make sense. But uh, only time, only time will tell. So yeah, so yeah, the keys are good. They are great, but I just don't. I just slightly. I just like this one slightly better. Okay. So yeah, there is that. So once again, software-wise, it is essentially identical to this. If I go to catalog, let's see, uh, <clears throat> let's see. If I go to catalog here, as you can see, they both take uh, uh, about a second to load the uh, the functions. So this one has 767 commands, as opposed to 762 here. So that's just because uh, you know it could it's only missing like what maybe. You know, not not that I many, just five commands, five more commands. So that's not really a lot. Maybe the 2007 model is going to have other commands, or maybe some some of those uh, functions are just specific to the 49G plus because it, it would make sense. But I don't really need, I don't really use this calculator for you know for very complicated stuff. And uh, till this day, I've I I've never seen a, I haven't seen anything, or I haven't done anything on the 49G plus yet. That I was not able to do on even the 49G from 1999. So even the 49G has pretty much the same software as this one. They both have computer algebra system. Just means that they can uh, deal with a uh, uh, complex. Uh, they can do uh, uh, complex math. They can do solve. You know, they can simplify stuff. You know, computer algebra system pretty much does all the work for you when it comes to simplifications and algebraic expressions is gonna make those things look uh or it's, it's, it's gonna uh, solve those things a lot easier for you so yeah that's uh yeah that's that's uh that's what it is and as you can see the display is more obvious here so you pretty you really just have uh, maybe two extra lines that you see here on this bigger display and uh before i forget i also want to mention uh touch really quick the the speed so on paper, this is faster than the 48G Plus, which makes sense once again, since it is a premium, that only makes sense. But you'll be surprised to know that the difference is not really that noticeable. Okay, 
so if you're on RPM mode you need to hold it press this one okay so I'm just gonna erase these two clear erase this one as well erase so graphing is where uh, you can test uh, the speed on the calculator really and uh, let's see so if I go to uh, the window I just want to make sure they are both using the default as you can see I move I'm moving uh, by the same sp uh, you know browsing the uh, through the user interface is by the same speed on both calculator okay so yeah they are both using the default settings everything is in default settings the reason why this uh, uh, these numbers are slightly different from here is because of the display size okay so that's the only reason why and uh, I'm gonna erase just make sure I'm not gonna regraph any old graph whatever so I'm just gonna let's do let's uh, I can't even think of any graph right now I guess let's do sign okay let's just do sign X uh, let's do sign X here as well uh, and uh, let's add one more let's do uh, a polynomial of the third degree oh okay I'm trying to use two calculators at the same time okay so again I want to go back to the window settings just to make sure I didn't miss anything because there is an extra page actually not the window settings it's uh, the 3d 4d 2d 3d okay so here everything is normal all right mm, yeah I think everything checks out so now what I'm going to do okay so before I forget something that's really important if you were to do the same thing here uh, but on a 49g from 1999 then if you try to graph your function from here from this window it's gonna take actually a lot longer to graph for whatever reason but if you were on the y window the plot function window this window then uh, it will be faster on the 49g but I really haven't noticed the same difference here anyways I'm gonna go ahead and graph these functions and see which one is going to get it first so remember this one is supposed to be faster 75 megahertz as opposed to 48 megahertz okay so that's quite a bit and they are both running the default uh, uh, settings okay so it actually did manage to finish slightly faster but one might think that uh, since it is uh, I mean 75 compared to 48 is uh, quite a chunk so one might think it's probably going to maybe twice two, like two times faster but that's not the case here as a matter as a matter of fact you know the difference is hardly noticeable so yeah and uh, that is that even if you are doing uh, you know simplifications I didn't even plan this video at all so I don't even know what to simplify but anyways let's go to home we'll figure something out uh, if we go to the equation rather uh, okay so again these these things are visually they, they look identical so all the keys are the same are the same placement uh, that is that mm. so let's see okay so something I wanted to talk about uh, let me pause this video uh, I'm just gonna figure out what to do okay so as soon as I pause the video I thought of uh, what to do so I'm gonna do two things really so first I'm going to do uh, uh, let's see I'm just gonna do like a, an expand expand like a like a complex expression so <laughs> well, I didn't know what I was going to do exactly but I had an idea uh, let's not make this too hard because I don't want to stay here forever so uh plus two and i'm gonna take the whole thing and uh power 15. okay so i'm gonna do the same thing here uh the reason why i haven't paused this video is because i want you to see like how long uh you can expect uh okay uh two and the whole thing double check I always like to copy my function my expression just in case something happens 
okay so i'm gonna put this on the stack and uh, i'm going to go to sim i'm going to algebra and then i'm going to expand these two okay so yeah so the difference is uh, a little bit noticeable now so as you can see so this one is going to be slightly faster you know it's going to be not by a long shot like not twice as fast but it's uh, definitely noticeable so yeah that is that i mean this is still really great i, ne I don't really have any complaint about it but uh when compared to uh uh certain texas instrument calculators like the ti 89 or even the 92 plus this thing can be i think this thing is pretty much faster in all department you know i haven't really I haven't really compared the two, but that's something I might do in the future. Okay, so we simplify that expression. So now, what I want to do, I want to go back to the equation rather and uh, do uh, uh, something else. So, okay, why isn't, okay. This equation rather. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I think I kind of want to... Uh, cut this video short uh, because I was trying to do some uh, uh, summation and um, some uh, integrals I mean the calculator just seems to get the answer uh, immediately you know HP calculators are known for their speed and I couldn't since uh, I don't have any script for my videos I didn't plan this out and I couldn't find any challenging integrals or even summation uh, to throw at it uh, when I say I couldn't find anything challenging at the same time I didn't you know I didn't know exactly if if I were to you know throw it uh, throw in some uh, really uh, complex integrals or summation, then I didn't know exactly how long it would take and I didn't want to pause the video and just sit and guess how long, you know, how long I'm going to be sitting here and wait for the answer. So I think I'm just going to cut this video short. Uh, maybe, uh, let's see, uh, what if I do something, uh, okay, let's see, no, I didn't want that. Uh, now that's the beauty of uh, not editing your videos. Uh, uh, mm, what just happened there? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've actually seen this example somewhere else. Uh, not the same exact thing, but something similar. Okay, it's doing that way. Uh, if I get a... Okay, so one thing about the HP uh, 49G or even the 50G is that sometimes if you uh, click the eval sign, then it's not gonna... It's just gonna give you a weird expression. So you have to hit shift and then num or enter to get an approximate you can change this uh, in the mod as well but yeah this is what i was talking about i don't know exactly how long this is going to take so i'm just going to stop it but uh you know this thing when it comes to integrals and summations this thing is going to be a lot faster than your legacy texas instrument calculators for instance the ti 89 any ti calculator with uh, a motorola mc6800 or 6800 mc processor for the most part yeah, so, okay. So I guess, uh, yeah, that that's it. If you have any questions about this calculator, just make sure you put in the comment section. I think, you know, there really wasn't much to talk about. If you if you watch any of my videos about the 49G, then uh, just know that pretty much everything applies to here as the software is identical on both calculator. You know, it's uh, no complaints with uh, this or whatsoever. It's a great calculator and I plan on using it. The RPN is, you know, is is the only reason why I got it really. You know, that's the whole point of having an HP calculator uh, from this, uh, uh, from 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 this uh, or from that a from that area to mid 2000, early 2000 or late 19, late uh, late 90s. So yeah, if you have any questions, just make sure you put in the comment section. This wasn't really uh, uh I don't know. I believe I could have said much more, like, I could have said more stuff about it, but, yeah, it's just me repeating myself over and over again, so, yeah, I guess, I guess you get a point. Uh, if you, if you're interested in this calculator or, or any of these two, you know, just uh, whichever you pick, 
you're not gonna you're not gonna go wrong with either of these two you know if you can find this cheaper by all means if you don't care about flashing a uh, different firmware on your calculator which is something I don't really do you know I don't really care for that you know I never flash I've never flashed anything on uh, my HP calculators because you know I don't really I don't use them for I just use them for the RPN you know I don't I don't program on these just yet that's something I'm probably I'm probably gonna look to to in the future I'm gonna look to that in, in, in the future, but uh, yeah, enough for the rent. I am out.